Happy drinking with the doctor. Mm. Mm. Uh, I have kind of a twofold topic. I wanted to recap something that happened. We haven't talked to our one viewer out there for a while. <laughs> Why don't we just call him and tell him this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but, um, you know, sometimes we want to do things ourselves, and then you find out, you know, I'm getting older. I, re I really need to yet let the young bucks or the professionals do it. Case in point, we had a whole bunch of bundles to haul up onto a roof <laughs> the other week, and um, I hauled up more bundles than anybody else. You did. I got there absolutely first. absolutely did. And I wasn't about to prove to them that I'm too old. Although, you see this gray? I was feeling it. The Never show day. your weakness. It's like a lion and gazelle. Yeah. The lions will <laughs> sneak out. No, I'm out. not weak. I did not. I did it. <laughs> he did it. Yes, and, he did. <laughs> and so, and, and it kind of uh, doves into, we are now in September. Uh, one month away, and it's going to be gutter cleaning USA oh, here man. in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. And, y you know, you might want to pay a professional because it's hard work on some houses. It is. Some people may find it cathartic, though. Retired oh, people. Yeah, I can that's see. My, my neighbors are retired. They love cleaning their gutters. Yeah, they don't, they don't have anything hellacious or crazy, though. No, no. And so, and so then one of the other ways to kind of skirt that cost of paying us to clean the gutters, all kinds of gutter screens, different devices. A long time ago, we showed uh, the foam. You know, you put the foam in the gutters, and it creates a great little um, growth for... Hydroponic system. Hydroponic, that was it. Hydroponic system. I like that. Why is it you know that name so well? You're not growing something crazy at home, are you? Uh, just a couple of small humans. That's it. <laughs> a little crazy, yes, maybe. <laughs> That's true. It, it's that season, too. Back to school. <laughs> but, okay, so that one I don't recommend. No. Because it just grows stuff in it. Stuff gets on it. It, it ends up just becoming a mud brick filling your gutter. And then you've got just the, the standard mesh, you know, your classic mesh screen. If you've got leaf trees. Is that the deciduous? Is that what they call deciduous? Deciduous, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, leaf. No. Anyhow, if you've got those all around your place, those work pretty good. Yeah. Because um, uh, not much gets in, but if you've got fir trees all around, those little needles get through that, and then it takes you or paying someone longer to pull off some screens, get the gutters cleaned out, put the screens back in again, so it just takes more time than just cleaning out the gutters. Boom! Get her done. So, that sometimes doesn't work. So then they get those micro mesh. Micro mesh. Micro mesh. Water gets through there, but nothing else does. And they're right. Water does get through until it develops that film mm -hmm. on it, and everything's just rolling right off of your gutter down to the ground. Yeah. There's just no silver bullet, is there? No, well, I find that gutters honestly work best the, the way they were designed, but that's just my opinion, and everybody's got their own opinion. I had a great idea. Hmm. I did. You take a gutter, and the problem is it's just too mechanical, but if you could have that gutter rigged up with a device so that you could just once or twice a year, it tips down <laughs> and just dumps everything out. How do you fire up the device? <laughs> and tips <laughs> back up. Oh, wouldn't that be good though? <laughs> Well, you can uh, just totally dump I love everything. I love your device theory. You have many device theories on many things, like the, the roof that would spray itself. You remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Put up a sprinkler system, and so you can just push a little button, and it tricks hey, the roof. Hey, I, I would totally have that device on my house if you could figure it out. Okay. I'll be the test run for it. Okay. Well, there you have it. So, uh, I guess my advice is uh, just... Be prepared to either get yourself out there on a ladder or pay a few bucks to have Dr. Roof uh, come clean your gutters uh, a couple of times because we'll do it in October when the rains are coming and there's so much wind in November that we're going to have to be back out again. So, sorry. It's just, there's it's just like no the, silver bullet. It's the there. conundrum of fall. Yeah. You know what? Here's the other idea. If you're building a house, here you go. If you're building a house, build it so it's got a rock bed around it and you have gable entries for everywhere that you're going through a door and no gutters just let it all run off onto the rocks and shed away from the property there's a, there's actually another conundrum many many customers ask me this it uh, deals with cleaning your gutters in fall <laughs> they ask me should I clean out my gutters before fall oh, yeah, or yeah. after fall 
I haven't come up with a good answer for that because ideally you want your gutters running and working great for fall, but then if you clean them out before fall, literally a month later you're cleaning them out again. So I don't know or what the answer two is. Two weeks later. It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Really? So we didn't really give anybody good advice today. <laughs> no. But we had a drink. And it's a beer. <laughs> I'd be drinking with a doctor. <laughs>